Hello there, this is the Bible of Soccer, not soccer, and in this video we're going to talk about New Zealand 5-5, five, five, but not number 5, and about how beautiful this world looks like. Okay, I remind you, like always, that English is not my first language, English is not my second language, and I'm talking here with no teleprompter, no guidelines, no master edition, and we're here in Russia in the Red Square uh, for the Confederation Cup. Uh, 2017 okay so we're going to talk about this team our uh, new zealand and uh how they play and how they can be beaten so basically uh what they do is they play with five defenders and five strikers but we're going to talk about that later let's talk first a little bit about the players okay we have here uh marinovich Marinovic is a good goalkeeper. It's very hard to score him uh, from. It's very hard to score him if you uh, shot. If you try to score by the level of the field, you have to uh, level up the uh, the ball a little bit in order to score him because he's very good at elongation and going down for the ball. Okay. And he has a very decent uh, game with his foot when he's always going to touch the ball to the defenders and try to keep playing by passes. Okay, this team usually starts from behind from the defense with passes until they got all the way to try to score. Okay, and they start with this goalkeeper. And he trusts very, uh, I would say he trusts too much in his uh, game with the feet, okay? But he's very good, a, a, a decent, let's say like that. Okay, and then we have here the three central defenders that they use, I call it like that. Okay, they three and then they have two more defenders that join them. But let's talk about uh, Boxal. Basically, he's a winger, okay? but he plays here and um, because he's a winger he has a little bit of uh, organizing or exit from behind okay and he's a very uh, calm player he never feel the pressure and he's a little bit uh, calm and he transmits that to the game and to the other players and he also have very long passes okay on target then we have here our Durante. Durante is actually an Australian uh, born uh, player, but he's naturalized uh, New Zealand and he plays there. And he's a little bit good with his uh, head, okay, with the aerial game. Then we have here uh, Sinianopoulos. He's also a winger, okay. Actually, this, uh, this winger, well, we're going to talk about that later, but. Uh, Sonianopolis, Sinianopolis, he plays as a winger, so he has a little bit also of organizing skills and getting out from there, okay? And he also plays sometimes as a defensive midfielder, okay? So he's good in destroying the game in this area. Then we have Wine, which is a very young player, he's a little bit fast. Okay, and that's the reason why he's playing right now in this team. Okay, and in this other win we have uh, Colby. He actually plays in this side, but he's been changed his position to here. That's what I was talking before uh, in, in advance before even mention it, but this is why I did that because he plays actually here, but he has to be moved here just because maybe a uh, limitations or because preference of the coach okay so he's moved there then we have uh, this player uh, marco rojas marco rojas is a chilean parents uh, player but he's from new zealand of course and i would say this is the best player of this team he has a very good uh, organizing skills he has long uh, scoring he's very good at scoring from long distance he has very good reading of the game okay and he's always gonna look the pass to the front 
even if that means compromising the ball. You almost never gonna see him uh, sending the ball back to the defenders or to get or to the goalkeeper. And then we have here uh, McGlinchey. McGlinchey is also very good at uh, reading the game, basically. It's important to mention that all these five players, one, two, three, four, five, all these five players, they are strikers, okay? But they have been, uh, the coach changed their position, okay? To play with what he thinks probably is the best 11 to play, okay? These five players are pretty much defenders and the original position of these five are strikers. That's why I, I, I'm calling this video five and five. Okay, this player, for example, uh, McGlinchy, he's really a fake number nine. We we'll place here or a number nine we we'll place there. Okay, then we have here uh, Ryan Thomas. He has good passing and good assistance, and he's also a striker, and he plays there. Then we have Smelts. His mouth is very fast and he has a very good aerial game, okay? Very good with his playing, hitting the ball with his head. Then we have Chris Wood. Chris Wood is very good at scoring on first touch in long passes, short passes, or whatever is going on inside the box. He's very good in first touch, okay? He's the one in charge of uh, kicking out the penalties. But the only problem with this player is that he's a very, uh, he's a little bit slow. So when this team is going to counter attack, they cannot use this player or this player has to come back a little bit or he's going to try to go. But it's difficult to count on him because he's not so fast for counter attack. So the team needs to uh, keep this in mind when they're doing this kind of tactics. Now, what is the problem with this team? Uh, sometimes, by the way, sometimes uh, he plays here Barbar Roses and he's plays here Patterson, okay? Lately, they've been using these two players and maybe it's working better, but the difference is that these two players, Barbar Roses and Patterson, they have been playing uh, together for a longer time than these two and they can understand better. Okay, but sometimes they use uh, Schwells and Chris Wood as well. Okay, now, the problem with this team is that these five are defenders and when they're going to attack, they go in attack in a group of five. Okay, so it's a big separation between the five from the defense and the rest of the team. And what is happening is that when this team is being attacked, especially when they've been attacked by the sides and then the players try to go to the middle because they're gonna retract and they're gonna come here there is no number five there is not defensive midfielder so they, they whoever is going is gonna take the middle is gonna have no resistance and sometimes the any of the wingers are gonna be the ones uh, making the role of the number five and it's gonna take a lot of time and if if these players can kick from the outside uh, they can score because they will have all the time of the world to do that because these five defenders always are waiting for one of these three to come back but they really are strikers it takes them a lot of lot of time and even when they make it they basically have to do uh, do something that they're not used to. So this team usually, when they mean attack from here and go to the middle, they have all the time in the world to try to score. And it has a problem with New Zealand. Okay, so uh, this has been everything for this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. You can share it. And if you haven't been subscribed, uh, you can do it now. That way you don't miss my next video. But remember that this is mainly a Spanish-speaking YouTube channel. It says goodbye to you, the Bible of soccer, not soccer.